Hi guys and welcome to my review of the DRC X401H-V2 FPV quadcopter. Um, the great thing about this quadcopter is it's got altitude control and I'm very much looking forward to giving that a test. Um, it comes complete with a 720p HD camera. On the face of it this drone seems to be a clone of the MJX X400 series um, drone. It's got a, a few differences uh, mainly in the controller in fact the uh, body of the quadcopter actually seems very similar and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, let's open it up. I've not unpacked this or anything yet so we'll do a full unboxing on this I think. So let's have a look at what we've got. So we have some accessories here these would be the sticks for the controller. We've got charge cable. And we've got a small screwdriver. Put those to one side for the moment. We have spare props. If I can ever get them open. So a set of spare props, two black, two yellow plus the prop screws. And we have, oh, what else have we got in there? Okay, so we've got the um, adapter for the micro SD card. And we have the phone holder. We have the prop guards, which actually I'm going to leave those in there because I, I tend not to use them anyway. And let's take this out. We've got the controls, uh, not the controls, we've got the instructions. We have the quadcopter itself complete with a battery which is pre-fitted. Um, I need the screwdriver to undo the battery bay though. I don't know if there's any power in that. We'll check that in a minute. Um, camera, LEDs red at the black and either blue or green at the front. We shall find that out. And this is branded Holy Stone but you can see that it's pretty much identical. It is identical to the MJX X400 series. This is just a, a plain X400. Um, this hasn't got the altitude hold, this has got the altitude hold. So again, I'm very curious to, to see how that functions. Um, there will be, in the prop guard pack, just thinking about it, the legs. So I will take the prop guard thingy off. Um, I fly my MJX without legs, but I think I'll put legs on this one. Um, love the colour though. It's the only yellow quadcopter I have. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. It's something a little bit different. Um, smart with the yellow props at the back, black props at the front. Um, this quadcopter, same as the MJX, has the on-off switch at the top there. That's always a great idea because you can connect your battery, set yourself up on the ground, and then at the last moment just turn the quadcopter on when you're ready to fly. And there's the legs. Along with a little clip for the antenna. The controller, however, is very, very different from the MJX range. Um, I actually like it. It's a little bit sort of DJI-ish, I think. Um, I'll find out what these buttons are for. And um, I shall let you know about those, but there's four buttons on it. Uh, trim controls on off switch and controllers which will need the sticks which I'll put on in a moment um, and it's sort of a, a flat matte kind of plastic um, yeah very nice um, right so what I should do I should charge some batteries up um, get everything assembled and we'll take it for a test flight hi and um, welcome to my demonstration flight of the DRC X401 with Wi-Fi control which I've um, set up the Wi-Fi monitor not the controller I'm just going to control via the um, normal controller but Wi-Fi 
through the phone and I'll set that to recording so we're recording from now and I'll press the red button in a moment and launch the drone so let's go have a, have a go at it okay pressing auto launch okay so it's auto start rather than auto launch Trimming it. And there we go. Just got to trim it back this way a little bit. But as far as altitude is concerned, I'm not touching the altitude control. That's it, so I'm just flying single-handed at the moment. That's pretty good, that's pretty impressive. Okay, let's change a bit of altitude now. Take it up to there. That's coming down a little bit and then it's settled about there. That's not bad. Okay, and then just try and a little bit of camera work. Let's try a flip. Flip is the right hand um, upper button. And again, so you press and hold the upper button and right hand stick into the direction you want the flip to go. That's pretty good. The right hand lower button is the speed. So I was in intermediate, this is beginner speed. It's a lot slower to respond. It's a lot harder to get yourself into trouble but also a lot harder to get yourself out of trouble if you're in it. So I'd go on to intermediate which is yeah that's much more responsive. But again, altitude hold. I like that a lot. That's very good. On a toy grade drone, brilliant to see these features coming in. Um, the LEDs, as you can see, blue on the front, red on the back, make orientation very easy, especially in the failing light that I've got at the moment. Okay, let's bring this back down again to where you can see it. I'm going to stop recording for a moment to make sure I've saved some video footage. And then start again. Um, responsiveness, it's not bad, I mean there's some funnels for instance. Whoa! And I hit, hit the line. That line is like three millimetres thick and I managed to hit it. But, no harm done. And the left hand lower button, which is that one, 
puts you into headless mode, so let's see if I can put it into headless mode. Is that headless mode? No. Okay, we're in headless mode. And we're back out of headless mode again. Not a fan of headless mode myself. Oh, and we can turn the lights on and off. So left hand lower button again, one press to turn it off, one press to turn them on. So here's a close look at the drone flying. And we have a low battery warning. And I forgot to time the flight, so I'll have to see from the video how long the flight was. And we'll come in to do an auto, it's doing an auto land anyway. It's doing that all by itself. Yeah, so it auto lands, um, I'll have to check the video as to how long that took but it auto lands once the battery le reaches um, uh, a low level and before I do anything it's still recording so let me turn the video off so the video should be off and turn the quad off, turn the controller off. And I forgot to time it, so then. Right, so um, that concludes my flight demonstration of the DRC X401, and um, thank you for watching.